2021 brought a whole new set of uh, challenges for us and uh, you know it kept kept us on us on our toes the uncertainty of when and who and where we're ac actually going to be playing and uh, I think we we found as a group that we can actually um, basically fly by the seat of our pants to be honest with you and that um, I thought the girls whatever was thrown at them I think the girls and the team were able to adapt pretty quickly and I think that's that's a major lesson that we've we've learned but well done to the Collingwood magpies super exciting to see the girls back together today um, you know we're still got Jodes overseas in uh, Jamaica and Maggie Ling's finishing off um, her vet course and in exams at the moment but the group came in today in great shape as you said they were high energy enthusiastic um, keen to get out there you know there was a bit of fun a bit of laughter it was a pretty good session pretty full on but uh, excited to see the group back and they're ready and raring to go Look, really excited to welcome in so Sophie Garbin and uh, Maggie Lind. Uh, you know, Sophie's such an experienced player, having come through the Western Australian pathway and, um, you know, been a part of the Sydney Swifts who have been really successful in the past three, three or four years, and particularly the last, I think they've won two titles in the last three years. So, you know, Sophie's come from a club that has had sustained success. They've got a winning mentality, uh, which is going to be great to be able to bring into our training environment here. Um, and really looking forward to the style of game she plays. She's a different player. We're looking forward to her being able to play across both positions. So really looking forward to what she can bring in that space. Um, and then we also invite in Mag Maggie Lind, who um, you know, has played throughout the Victorian netball pathway um, and has had a lot of success within her Victorian VNL club. So um, you know, she's a great leader. Uh, it's a bit like so, she comes from a winning culture as well and adds a lot more size to across our attacking transverse line. So the strength of her capacity to be able to feed and find shimmy under the post is something that we'll be looking forward to in 2022. Sort of here, it's just getting the touch back, just getting the finesse back. Uh, we'll do a lot more spe specialist stuff leading into Christmas as well. And I think we finish up um, this, this end of the year uh, playing against the Vixens, having a couple of matches against the uh, Vixens. So that's what we're going to build towards. Um, and then looking forward to cementing then, you know, structure and strategy probably um, a bit towards the end of this year. And then obviously building at the start of next year into the season beginning at the end of March. How much we grew as a team from 2020, and sure we can look at just the win-loss ratio, but um, there was a lot more to it than that. And I think the in individual players' games grew, and that's something I spoke to the girls about today. You know, we need to not get out there and prove ourselves. We just need to keep improving both as individuals and collectively as a team. And if we can do that, we're going to put ourselves in a really good position come next year. And you know, that's something that I'm looking forward to to really consolidate on what the group did in 2021. And and build on that, build on the connections on court, the relationships that we're able to develop on court and see what level we can take that to in 2022.